this is Holly Ray and Mimi Ray, and we're back with Baking with the Rays, your two faves are back in the kitchen. Yeah. So today, Mims, I have a little surprise for you. What? We're going to be making one of your favorite snacks. We're going to be making it from scratch. So we're going to make sausage rolls, but I have all the ingredients in the fridge Yay! ready. Yep. So we're going to be making this up. You excited? Yeah. As excited as I am? Yeah. So let's go make them. Let's grab the ingredients. Need some help? <laughs> okay, let's go. And the sausages. And the sausages, and you're holding the milk and the mustard. mustard. Good. <laughs> Can put our ingredients down here. Shall I grab our aprons? Yes. I don't want to tie it. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. You're a big girl now. Take your hands off the merchandise. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Are you focused now? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna start off. This is they're super easy to make. So we're gonna take our pork sausages, and you can use any pork sausages. Weenies. Um, what are they called? <laughs> Weenies. Weenies. <laughs> <laughs> You can use any pork sausages. Um, Woolies also has a great range of sausages with sort of like cheese in them, sage in them. Um, but we're just gonna use plain pork bangers today. Okay, I'm gonna take the skin of the sausage off. So what I wanna do is just cut down the centre here, like that. See? Like that. And then I'm gonna peel the casing off, like that. And I keep the sausage in its shape. You don't wanna you didn't, ruin the shape, but just like that. It in, you didn't put it in its shape. It is in its shape. Is that not the shape of a sausage? No. I and then we want to get rid of the skin, so there. just pop it in there. Hey? There. I mean, that's fine. As yeah. long as it's not like a ball now. I want to feel the heat. Holly, help me. No. Just... Help me. Mimi Ray. <laughs> Put it in the... No, no, sis, sis, sis. <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna get our pastry ready. So we've got some ready rolled puff pastry. Are you gonna cut it open for me? Yeah. Okay, this is, please be careful. So if you are gonna be making sausage rolls, it's really important that you do take the pastry out to thaw. You can take it out the night before, um, or the morning of if you're gonna be making it late in the morning. It needs about three hours to thaw. <laughs> so I'm gonna grab some cake wheat flour, get nice and messy. Oh, no, no, no. Yay, Bring messy. All Yay. Around for me. I'm gonna roll it out this way. Down. How do you do it like that? I got skills and they're multiplying. Perfect. Mm. Now just sprinkle a little bit on the top. Just a little bit of flour on the top. Because it's already rolled, we don't really need to roll it out. It's a nice consistency. It's not too thick, not too thin. So we're going to be adding some mustard. We're going to add um, some whole grain mustard, but you can add Dijon mustard. You don't have to add the mustard if you don't want to. Just adds a really nice flavor. So we're going to paste one sausage, two, two sausages. sausages, and just... I said two sausage. You two said sausage. two sausages. Then easy peasy, roll it over like that and then we just want to join see at the bottom then then, then we're gonna right. cut it you um, see you see but cut right so look you don't want to waste pastry so cut it for me eh, eh. good girl perfect make sure that it's all sealed along the bottom there and then we're going to cut this into three. So I'll do the cutting with the sharp knife, OK? So about there, about there. there. And then we're going to use the back of the knife just to push and make a line across the sausage roll. Mm. 
Now, now you're gonna roll it over. Amazing. There are all our little sausage rolls. Let's wash our hands, grab a tray, pop them on, and get them ready for the oven. Okay, cool. So I've prepped a baking tray. I sprayed it with a non-stick agent. And now what we're going to do is pop our little sausage rolls onto the baking tray and then do a little egg and milk wash on top. Amazing, Mimi Ray. Okay, now we're going to make the egg wash. So let me grab a little bowl. And we need one egg. Can you crack the egg into here for me? You are enjoying that pastry. Hey. Okay. Perfect. And now can you whisk it? Perfect. Now I'm going to add a little bit of milk. Look at that whisking wrist you have there, Mimi Ray. Yeah. And we're going to paint it like this. The egg wash just makes them go nice and golden on the top. Nice and yummy. That's what you want, eh? Hey? Isn't your favorite subject at school art? Yeah. So this is like art. It's like painting the piggies in a blanket. Mm. Look at that artistic flair you have. I see the way. I see the way that you are. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Thank you, Miss Mimi. Great. We're now going to pop these in the oven. We've preheated the oven to 180 degrees. We're going to pop these in and bake them for about 15 to 20 minutes. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Can you smell that? No. Mmm, smells like candy canes on Christmas. No, it doesn't. That, that movie is before your time, girl. It's before your time. Anyway, they're smelling so good. You know they're ready when they're nice and golden brown on the top. Um, like I said, about 15 to 20 minutes, but you also need to judge according to your oven. But as soon as they're kind of this color, they're nice golden brown, they are ready. Are you ready to get eaten? Mm. Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Mm. Why do the peel so tiny? Mm. 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 And that is why we choose to make them ourselves and not just buy them from the store. It's so much yummier. People of my channel, please pray for me. Welcome back to Mimi's Corner, my favorite segment of the show. So, you're probably wondering, what's up with this furry box? Well, we are going to be playing one of my favorite games. What's in the box? Boo, 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 boo. So how do we play? So we have to, we can see these holes in there. Yeah. So we have to stick our hands in and then we have to feel what it is. Okay, and guess, guess. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay, so I'm going first. Let's see what's in here. Oh, that's spiky. Ow, ow. I think it's a pie, it's a pineapple. Yes. Bing, 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 a pineapple. Ah! My turn. Is it your turn? Okay. Guess okay. it's my turn. Mimi Ray Sizzle. People of my channel, please pray for me. Oh, that was a plate. <laughs> it felt cold. Okay, go. It's Brussels sprout. No. Cucumber. No. Olive. No. Do you need a hint? Yeah. Okay, it's a fruit. That's not a hint. It is. That is a fruit. I know it's a fruit, but I don't. Give me a 
litter. Okay, it's strawberry. Yay! Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, so my turn again. Your turn. <laughs> oh, it's hairy. Let me see. Let me oh, no. See. What is that? Let me see. Oh. Turn, turn the box. No. Turn the box. <laughs> you are so getting tricked. Oh, no. It's, it's like an animal. It feels like mm -hmm. a hamster. No, it's not. Or like a man's beard. That's oh, yeah, like no. two days after being shaved. Is it, is it Jimmy's beard? Want me to give you a hint? It's a fruit. It's a fruit? It's a fruit. What fruit is hairy? Okay, it's, it's round. Ooh. Want me to tell you, you give up. You give up, buddy. Is it? You give up. Is it a kiwi? Yes. Is it? Yeah. Sis, man, that was disgusting. <laughs> Yeah, maybe just one hand, because you got... Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> what is it? I don't know. What is it? Shaving cream. I think so, yeah. <laughs> Jimmy, why would you give me this for your disgusting hair? <laughs> <laughs> No. Oh, that's potent. Jimmy! Yeah! Okay, I think we need to wash that. Smell. <laughs> no, no. Okay, cut! Cut! Okay, so it's my turn. Oh no. Let me see. What is that? Let me see. Let me see. Oh no. It's like so smooth. Oh, like a man's bald head. No! Like a baby's bottom. Ugh. Give up. No, I think it's. Is it a fruit? Yeah. Is it a is it a papaya? Yes. Is it a purple? Yeah. Cha -ching! Mm. Can I make that face? I mean, you'll find out. Is it alive? Maybe. Come on, stick your hand in. My dog. It's not bad. Oh, that is so funny. <laughs> Come look, I'll even put my hand in. It's fine, it's fine. Go again and try to guess what it is. You're gonna smell me. No, it's not live. It's not live. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, it's a pom pom. No. Teddy bear. Yes! <laughs> Oh, he's very cute. Run all the rhinoceros. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that was fun and scary at the same time. So now let's go from what's in the box to what's in the kitchen. Welcome 
to the worldwide apple juggling smackdown between the Ray sisters. First person to drop the apple loses. Are you ready? Yes. On your marks. Get set. Go. Fruit, hey means. How many yeah. apples do you think you eat a day? Seven. Seven apples a day. Do they say a doctor a day keeps the? I mean, an apple a day keeps the doctor <laughs> away. Is yeah. that why you're so healthy? Anyway, hey guys. <laughs> My name is Holly Ray, and I'm busy throwing apples around this kitchen. <laughs> Today, you guessed right. Our key ingredient is apples. We're going to be making apple donuts. So should we go get our ingredients before any more apples fly around this kitchen? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay, so what do we need? We've got our apples, we need some cream cheese. Cream Can you cheese. take that for me? That's everything we need out of the fridge. We need to grab some icing sugar. Okay, so I know you're probably thinking, what are apple donuts? They're actually no bake. You're not actually making donuts how we understand donuts to be. Are you agreeing with me there? I can just see a little head nodding in the corner of my eye. Apple donuts are so easy to make and what's great about them or a great thing to do with them is if you have kids coming over for a play date or even a birthday party, you can actually set up an apple donut decorating station, leave the kids, let them do their thing, let them have their fun, come back and they've been entertained for a few hours. So we're gonna show you how to make these super easy apple donuts. This is your first time, it's not your first time making these, you actually make these quite a lot. No, not a lot, uh, just often. not often. <laughs> not that often. But you usually make them with like peanut butter, raisins, mm, nuts. I use the peanut butter, raisins, nuts and honey. Mm, and but today we're going to make them with cream cheese and freeze dried fruit. So you're ready for me to show you how we're going to do this. Okay. Okay, so we're going to start off by colouring our cream cheese. So you don't have to colour the cream cheese, but it's a really fun way to bring some colour in, to make them interesting. So we're going to be using full fat cream cheese. You can also use cream cottage cheese. So about that much. And then a tablespoon. Gravity must not come to this earth. Pop that, what gravity? <laughs> mm. Yummy, nutritious and Delicious. Okay, can I open that? Because I can literally just see where this is going to go. It's okay. going to end with yellow okay. food colouring all okay. over the place. But can I put it on? Well, I'm going to put it in and then you're going to... We don't want too That's much. That's so tiny. No, well, because food colouring spreads. You don't need a lot. Mix it's that so for me. It's so tiny. A bit of blue to this one. Very this needs more, I'm telling you, see? see? So a lot of kitties are allergic to food coloring, so you can use the powdered food coloring. Look how I'm mixing. Get all the color worked through. Looks like banana. Exactly. That's the point. Perfect. You know how I make mine? Maybe a little bit more. I told you. Are you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> And our last one is the white one, which I'm just going to give a mix to soften it up. Last thing we're going to do, add to our cream cheese, is a little bit of icing sugar. You don't have to add the icing sugar. If you would like to um, leave it out and just do the cream cheese plain, you can do that. So I'm going to add half a tablespoon into each, just to add a little bit of sweetness. Okay, let's mix this in and then we're going to get to our apples. Tastes good. Mm -hmm. Just how we like it. Now we're going to get to our apple cutting and coring. So we're going to use about four apples. One, two, three, four. So first things first, we've washed our apples. They're nice and clean. We're going to decore them. Oh, decore them, core them. Going to pop this into oh. the middle. And push it down. Oh. I was thinking we were going to do that. Give it a twist and pull out the core. Look at that. There's your donut. Let me see, let me see. Perfect. <gasps> I, I. Okay, sorry. Okay, pull out. <laughs> pull it out. Good girl. Did you get it? You did. Well done. 
now that our apples don't have their cores anymore, I'm gonna cut them into their slices. So I'm gonna do the cutting because we have to be very safe when we're using knives. So I'm gonna cut each apple into four slices. <laughs> is, is that what we're doing? No, it's fine. You lick that, that cream cheese spoon, you enjoy it. So I'm gonna cut each apple into four slices. So just distract the kitties with the cream cheese spoon while, you know, you're using the sharp objects. It's a great way to do it. So the fruit that I've got, I've got blueberries, freeze-dried blueberries to go with the blue. I've got freeze-dried banana to go with the yellow. Some freeze-dried coconut to go with the white. And some freeze-dried strawberries to go with the pink. And then here we've got some cute sprinkles mm -hmm. that you can also use. Okay, so you've chosen pink. Mm -hmm. I am gonna go for blue. blue. Okay, so let's do this. So what you're gonna do is spread it all around and then add the toppings. Exactly. That's exactly what you're gonna do. We're gonna spread this cream cheese. This spread cream colored cheese. This colored cream cheese. Yes, spread this colored cream cheese. Okay, I am gonna put some oh. blueberries onto I'm mine. Some dried some. blueberries. I'm gonna put some. Ooh dried strawberries and then actually i'm gonna leave mine i'm not gonna put sprinkles on it you're not yeah i mean that looks good that's a that's a classy donut right there yeah it doesn't need any any sprinkles you think? Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's the last two little apple donuts. I'm gonna pop them on our plate and we're gonna clean up a little bit and then get to the best part, which is the eating. All right. You ready to get eating? Yes. Which one are you gonna choose? Pick your fighter, Mimi Ray. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go for this one. A little strawberry action. I'm going to go for this one. Oh, also a little pink with sprinkles. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, cheers, baby girl. Cheers. Yeah. Are we eating? Okay, go. Mmm. Mm. I like the toppings. Mmm. I'm all for that freeze-dried <laughs> fruit. Delicious. Mmm. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode as much as we enjoyed it. We're gonna go finish our apple donuts and we'll see you guys soon. Thanks for tuning in from me, Holly Ray. And me, Mimi Ray. Bye.